smooth zoom out and cap cut. To get started, arrange all your clips on the timeline and sync them to the rhythm of your music. Select the first clip at the very beginning and add a keyframe for transform or scale. Move the playhead to the end of the clip and add another keyframe. Then, move the playhead back to the beginning of your clip. Go to the right menu and increase the scale or zoom into your liking. Play your video. It should now zoom out. For a smoother zoom out effect, select your clip, right click, and choose Show Variable Speed Animation. Right click again on the graph and select Preset Curves. Try them all and choose the one that looks best to you. I picked Ease Out because I think it looks best for me. Close the preset window right click on the graph and click on hide variable speed animation once the first clip is done repeat the same process for all the other clips create a keyframe at the beginning and another at the end then zoom in on the first keyframe so the clip will have a zoom out effect when played after doing this for all your clips select them one by one and change the curve animation to ease out next let's add a soft light effect and reduce the strength to around 10. this is just to add a cinematic touch it's not essential. One thing I like to do is add a cinematic color grade. I'm using the Oppenheimer filter and have reduced the intensity to around 40. Make sure the adjustment layer covers the entire clip. It looks fantastic. To create the strobe light effect, click on the effect panel and search for strobe. If you have a tremor strobe effect, use that one. Since I don't have it, I'm using a normal strobe. You can also adjust the strobe speed to around 25 or any setting that matches the pace of your music. Once you're finished, click on export and enter your project name. These are the settings I use to export my videos. For more cool cap cut tricks, click on the video on the screen.